Well, you see, during the weekend is quarantine for the Turkish people. The tourists can't go outside, but the Turkish people have to stay Good morning on our final day. The bags are packed. We're ready to head to the airport. Just had to get a COVID test yesterday and unfortunately because of the whole COVID test situation, you can't check in online. Most of the flights we try to check in online to make it easier to just go to the gate through security and be satisfied and content and ready to go. But because of the COVID test here in Serbia, they make you show it prior to receiving your ticket. So we have to go to the gate, get our tickets and then head off to Turkey. Says, I'm not going to Turkey. <laughs> we called it. Yeah, you think you're not going to Turkey. Give you so give yourself two days with me. I'll get you to Turkey. No. See I'm you, brother. Hey, job, man. Nice meeting you. Nice Bye. Bye. See you, I'll see you guys. guys this is just sad. Okay, dude. <laughs> it's always so sad. This is just sad. I've only been here ten days. I feel yeah, so yeah. sad yeah. leaving. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Interesting man, Itamar is. He showed up to Serbia with not a single suitcase, on, not a single piece of clothing other than what he's wearing, and he's leaving with two suitcases that are huge. There you go. Eat the push. There you go. Push, push you can do it. No. And just like that, we made it to the airport. It's pretty quick, pretty easy. It's super foggy here today, so I'm not too sure <laughs> if we might have a we might have a fog delay. To be honest, like I'm not too sure how it's gonna work. It's really like it's been pretty foggy here in Serbia a couple of days that I've been here. So I don't know. It seems to be quite common here. Hopefully, we don't have a delay and we can make our way to Turkey. Cause I need myself a haircut and some Turkish food. So with me traveling so frequently the last four years and traveling full time, it's been a learning curve, I could say the least. I've learned a lot of different things when it comes to traveling and how to make sure that your luggage and everything is completely secure the whole time. The best thing you can do is try and travel all carry-on. So you can have a small carry-on luggage and one backpack with you. Now the problem with that is, is your clothes and your bag are supposed to be under seven kilos. Now mine aren't. When I went up there, she said, put your bag on the scale. I said, ma'am, it's just a carry-on. She said, okay, how much does it weigh? I said, seven to eight kilos. She said, okay, done deal. But to be honest, my bag back here is very heavy because it's all camera gear. But with it being a camera gear, they can't actually check it into a plane because it's not pressurized. Plus it's super fragile stuff. So if your bag's a little bit over, as long as it's camera gear or electronics and has batteries, you're good to go. But if it is closed, you have to make sure you're underweight or around the weight. Thank God this time she didn't actually weigh it and just allowed me to go in. Now I'm gonna get some food, something to drink, yeah, order an Airbnb because we need accommodations oh, yeah. for the night. Yeah, yeah, that's true, man. That's perfect. Thank you. Just when I thought I was going to get a cappuccino, they came back with our last Serbian beer. So it is 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Cheers. Actually, I'm very shocked that it's like this, but there's only one other airport in the world that I've been to that it's like this, where you actually don't go through security prior 
to going into the airport or before getting your ticket or after your ticket. You get your ticket, then you go to your gate, and then at each gate is security. So it's just different. I've only ever actually seen that in Sri Lanka. Things have calmed down here a little bit, but you do still have a lot of people that are so concerned and super cautious about it. But I mean, they take it to a whole nother level, like full hazmat suits, like chemical goggles, gloves, like shoe slippers, everything that you could possibly imagine that you would need in like a lab, right? Like, like a an chemical operating lab. Room. <laughs> yeah, an <laughs> operating room. So some people are very, very uh, cautious of it, which is good, but you don't really see it very often. I don't know how we possibly got the same seats next to each other, considering he booked his ticket like two months before right. mine, but it worked. I don't care whatever one you want to do. I don't even know which one's which. Which one's which? Sandwich, Sprite, vodka, and a cookie, 10 euros. It's not too bad, but... Let me do the, um, I'll do the same combo. Same combo. Popped. <laughs> Yo, I would have paid 20 euro for this sandwich. Check it out. Welcome to Turkey. Thank you for flying with Air Serbia, and we are looking forward to welcoming you on. Nobody told me it was going to be 80 degrees and sunny. No idea. No, it's actually raining, but normally it is snowing at the beginning of February in Istanbul. But it's about 65 degrees. And rainy. I think we brought the crappy weather with us from Serbia. I don't know what time we're gonna get to the city because apparently it's about an hour and hour and hour and a half to get to the city by bus. I think we're gonna check the cost of the bus and also the cost of a taxi because we got three of us, so. It's gonna be way more affordable to get there and get back because me and Chris will be coming back together. So hopefully get it. we can make it through. I don't know how long it's gonna to take to get through because they said if you have any symptoms or you look sick, you could be subject to more testing, which is okay if they have to give me a COVID test. Hopefully not though, considering we just got a PCR test yesterday morning. This airport is really beautiful already. I love going to the different cities and seeing the different structures and the architecture in the airports. One more check of the PCR test. Check where you're staying in the hotel and how long you're going to be here. Boom, we're in the country. We made it to Turkey, Chris. Bro, we made it. We made it. Pretty nerve-wracking when you're traveling during COVID because you don't know if you're gonna actually be allowed in or what's gonna happen. It's just kind of iffy. Because these boys travel with check-in bags, we're actually gonna have to go to baggage claim. While they do that, I'm gonna see if possibly I can get a SIM card or figure out the whole bus and taxi situation while they're getting their bags. How long stay in Turkey? Just two weeks. Two weeks. You want only data or call together? Oh, I just need data. Okay. Starting here, 20, 30, 150, 150. Oh, gigabytes? No, dude, I just, 20 is fine. Okay. How much is that in USD? 30 to $35 for 20 gigs of data. Doesn't matter how long you're here. It's quite expensive. It's almost the same as the US. Actually, that's, yeah, it's the same as the US, but it's not too bad. I mean, I'd rather get it than be in a situation where I need it 
and I don't have it. Now because there's three three of us here, we're actually going to get a taxi to the city center. It's 150 lira, so it's about 15 US dollars to get from here to the city center. If we take a bus, it'll be around the same cost and it'll take about an hour and a half to get there. So we're just gonna go with the taxi, get there fast. Hopefully we can get some food, settle into our new apartment and get this trip rolling. It is not as warm as we expected it to be. I, I was reading it was 70 degrees and me and Jimmy were like, oh, that's California weather, we're good, buddy. And then we show up here and I'm like, yo, I'm so glad that I didn't throw away my sweaters. <laughs> I threw away everything or gave it away, I should say, but I was gonna give away literally everything and I would have came out Thank here. Thank God we didn't do that. Feeling retarded. <laughs> yeah. It is probably about 56 degrees, 55 degrees. So it's really not too cold, but it does have a nice chill. So you need to, you need to definitely dress for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. We made it to Thompson Square. We're right down the road from our hotel, so it's not too far. We're a five minute walk from the actual square itself. Oh, oh man, so nice to be here. Um, no, I'm okay right now. Thank you, thank you. Well, you see, during the weekend is quarantine for the Turkish people. The tourists can't go outside, but the Turkish people have to stay home. Oh, really? But during the weekdays, uh, everything is open, but the restaurant is just take away. Okay. First Turkish meal on So we did have a little bit of a problem with Airbnb, but that's not going to stop the good moods. We got some incredible Turkish food here. Ooh, so let's eat. Let's eat. America? No, Serbia. 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 The problem we keep running into in every Airbnb we go to in Serbia here and this first Airbnb in Istanbul is that like, the hosts aren't putting pictures of one single unit. So they're putting pictures of multiple units on one listing when that's not how it's supposed to work. I've never had this issue with Airbnb ever and it's happened three times this trip. And it's like super, super frustrating. It's but, it's mad, it makes us mad because like we're, we're literally, dude, we we're just willing got, to get off a flight and we're willing to spend the 500 bucks. Like this room isn't cheap, it's 500 bucks. Between me and Jimmy's, because Itamar is only for two nights, that's 250 bucks a, um, a month or a week. a week. And they literally told us that it was two bedrooms. Now, Jimmy and I literally just hopped on Airbnb here in Istanbul and around Taksim Square, if you're by yourself, you can get an incredible room for $11 for a night. So we're literally spent, we're stuck in a predicament right now to spend 500 bucks to, to have one of us sleep on a couch. Like that's it's not just, cool. It's just uh, an unforeseen circumstance that we didn't expect to run into. This is the bed they gave us for $500. But we can handle it. Airbnb is a phenomenal company that always makes sure you're taken care of. So if you guys are interested, you can actually get $65 off your first booking with a new account on Airbnb.com. And that's how I travel and how I stay and live on the road every single place I go. But you do sometimes run into situations like this when you are you know, in Serbia and Istanbul. I haven't ever seen it in any other country and I've been to tons of countries, but I know that I'll be covered. So we're gonna stay here tonight, Airbnb process the refund, and we're gonna figure it all out in the morning, get a new place to stay. And Dude, I've been in rural Thailand and my Airbnb listing was accurate.